Hey fellow Dragon Age fans and open world gamers, we are taking a look at the character creation in Dragon Age Inquisition and it is extremely detailed. Also, we just hit 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube and we have an additional 100,000 on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for your immense support. I cannot thank you enough. You can definitely look forward to a celebration video shortly and it's gonna be crazy. So. Here we go, here is the character creation from Dragon Age Inquisition, enjoy. Uh, my name's Cameron Lee, uh, I'm producer on Dragon Age Inquisition and this is Mike Laidlaw, the creative director. Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, so today we're going to be showing a bit of the game, uh, we've got Connell back here as well, he's going to be uh, helping us coordinate some of the questions etc. Uh, okay, so here we are, we're in our appearance customization, so there's uh, default heads uh, that we start you with that you can then customize. I love the, yeah, punchy prize fighter. Yeah, this guy. This yeah. guy's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's lost. Well, he's one more fight than he's lost, I think, is, is what that face says. Yeah. All right, so now I'm, I'm customizing this particular character. Uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of different categories here. Uh, if we go into general, um, initially there's some sliders. Uh, we have a really cool system to, to give you a lot more control, but um, some of these general uh, settings change the face structure. Yeah, these are just your top level. Exactly. Start from here, and then you get a lot more fine tuned. That's right. So skin tones, you know, all the way from from really pale Canadian, not having tone. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, yeah. Haven't Come seen, on, haven't, I'm Australian, and I've never been this pale yeah. in my entire haven't, life. Haven't haven't seen ago. the sun in many many months. That's right. I think one of the first things he said when I moved here was the wolf god will swallow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the sky wolf. Yeah, will eat the sun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So. All right, we want someone kind of tanned. Uh, so complexion, you know, these are a, a pretty um, cool. Uh, wow, he's really old and decrepit looking. Oh, wow, that, that pretty much looks like us at the end of a project, man. It does. Yeah. Uh, so you can see there's like freckles and things like that in there as well. Uh, as you sort of flip through those, we go with that one. Sure. Okay. Uh, so eye color here again. This is the basics of the eye color. We can change that uh, in a really cool slider uh, later on. Uh, hair. There's a whole bunch of different styles. Um, in here, the tussled, the undercut, <laughs> the the, yeah. the he man, and the, then, uh, and the Joan Jet. Yeah, yeah. The um, it reminds me of that guy from um, oh God, I can't remember the name of the show. Anyway, he that's fine. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah. Okay. The big thing was we wanted to give a bunch of different hairstyle options for people. Like you know, if yeah. you want to have long, you want to have short. Uh, we want to give a bunch of those. Of course, hair color is yeah. is always important, and it will transition down to your to your facial colors as yeah. well. I'm going grayer the longer this project runs, so that's right. going to be me by the end. All right, so. yeah. All right, let, let's go with um, dark brown. Ooh, <laughs> a chestnut. <laughs> chestnut. Yeah, exactly. This guy's really pushing all the edges. Oh, huh? totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Dark um, brown hair. Oof. We've got some uh, some little beard styles here uh, as we go through. So, uh, you know, I don't know what you'll describe that as. Isn't that isn't that technically a Van Dyke where it doesn't connect, or is it connected? You're, to Van you're Dyke? the beard expert. I no, I just have a beard. That doesn't make me an expert. All right, um, I'm gonna go again. You know, let's five o'clock shadow. No, good. Oh, no, 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 no. Something different. No, you just too generic. You got to get yes, yeah. yes. Now we're talking. All right. Okay. Stash of doom. Uh, so voices. Uh, each gender has, or each appearance has, um, a selection of two different voices. Um, so. Okay. So they come. They come essentially pre map based on race. So yep. if you don't touch the slider, and you know, if you're at the top level, like Cameron was scrolling through that list, yep. if you just say, yeah, that one's awesome. I'm going for that. You'll get the voice that matches your race. So yeah, an American kind of flatter accent is going to match. Uh, and you guys can hear them here, is going to match the um, uh, voice of, of a canary or a dwarf, and then the British accent is going to match a human and an elf. Yeah. 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 So here is uh, where most of our, our customization comes in place. We've got this really cool sort of like, I, guess, I don't know what you call it, like some sort of multi-point uh, thing. Yeah, but pan-dimensional target. Yeah. Pan-dimensional. Lee, uh, yeah. Tyler is probably in his office right now. What are you doing? It's a two-dimensional slider on a yeah. grid. God. Anyway. So big ears, little ears, you know, like you can really sort of customize that. Uh, okay. If you had hair, it would move around the hair. Yeah. But, and know. then, you know, you can move the, the ears around the head you know, with this kind of slider. So it's all really cool. The the character artist is probably also looking at this right now and going, what have you done? So earlobe size. I love this one. It's like, how big do you want your earlobes? How yeah, big are your earlobes? About, about that big? Better. Yeah, they're kind of earlobe size. Okay. Yeah. That's how I think of them. Yeah. The right size. The right. The, yeah. the correct size. That's yeah. right. Everyone else has got these weird ears. Mine, pretty much, pretty much normal. Do we want big cheekbones? I, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is your creation. 
<laughs> okay, except for the beard. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. It's my mustache on your creation. Yeah. So you can see, you know, how the skin texture is just running over whatever changes of the skull that we're making there. So brow size as well, you know. So it's all pretty. I think I think we gotta get into some color stuff though. That's, yeah. that's where that's where it really really shines. Alright, well let's do it in the eyes. So oh, there we go. you start off with like again just general sort of uh, eye shapes we can then then modify. So if we scroll down here we can do say uh, the outer iris color and then separately the inner uh, iris color as well. So you can see if we want to go, what color do you want to go, Mike? Mm, I think we need uh, yeah, let's go some green. Some green? Some, some green. Okay, yeah. so, so once we pick the sort of something. the general kind of green color on here, then using the other stick, I can sort of really fine tune the particular color. So we'll saturation. Go, yeah. yeah. So we've got really bright green on the outer irises and then on the inner, inner irises. Uh, we can do like a, I don't know, you see, I mean, if you go like, like full green, green, it's yeah. like, you know, mega, mega green. Yeah. Uh, and that's just really that, that slight part around the, the inner iris, which is really cool that you can have that much customization. Um, again, default sort of nose shapes you can look at here, and you sort of flip between them, uh, and then you can customize that. You know, so what are we doing there? Like the width of the nose, you can see the beard sort of modifies as well. Yeah. Uh, nose position on the face, take it all the way down, all the way up, and then I should do it on that side, I guess. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it's true. You can zoom in and out if you want to get really yeah. close. It's not uh, not on a per slider basis. Do we want this guy to have a big nose? I again, follow your muse. Just, All just right. chase that dream, buddy. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so then we're looking at the bridge size. So, you know, right now it's sort of up the top. You know, I scroll down and you can start to see it's sort of modifying the, the two sort of yeah. parts of the nose. Yeah. We got to We got to hit broken nose before we're done, though. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's one of my faves. It's actually, yeah. it's like, I think, you know, when you think about characters, people tend to think of them as being, oh, well, no, this, this character is just going to be perfect. And that, Sure, you can chase that down, but yeah. sometimes, like you know, it's a rough and tumble world. It's been your character's probably been in a lot of fighting. Yeah, it's been a chaotic time. So you come out of that, and you're like, you know, no, my nose needs a crook. So, Absolutely, it depends. Like it's whatever your fantasy is, right? I mean, being able to create your own inquisitor uh, and play it in the game, and then make your own decisions, and actually, you know, yeah. it, this flows through everything in the game. You know, uh, customization, crafting, the decisions that you make, the impacts of that, how you customize Skyhold. Uh, you know, you race, gender, you know, voice, you know, we want your character to be your character uh, rather than a, a fixed one that we, we force upon you. Yeah, the voice, the voicing was really fun. I remember when we were yeah. discussing that. Because um, yeah. actually, so we added voice as part of the addition of races when we moved a year and said, we want, to, right. go, we want yeah. to go further with this. We said, okay, so what should we do? There you go. Yeah. Get that big swollen. And a lot of how you can sort of take yeah. it from side to side as A well. deviated septum? Yes. I think that's what that's called. It looks really good on a I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. Yeah, because dwarves tend to have your big florid nose. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, they don't have to, but... <laughs> I love that. Little teeth. It kind of looks like Freddie Mercury. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, here we are. Here we are. So this, having a beard is not so good to show off the lips, but anyway, we can sort of show that up. So you can hold the... You know, I'm going to go back out and take off my beard for a sec. So oh. Where was that again? General. It's in general. Okay, so you can see the mouth width is changing the upper, upper part of the mouth as well. And mouth position, you know, you can take that all sorts of weird and wonderful. <laughs> a little burst, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's because... posing for his selfie now, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Getting the duck lips. You want full lips? I do, do again. All right. Man, you're not helping me. You're I, supposed to be creative. I'm uh, no, I'm 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 giving you the opportunity to fulfill your fantasy, which apparently <laughs> is a scruffy guy with green eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's our jaw size going on. See the skin moving over that jaw there. Chin size. Let's zoom out a little bit. Double chin. I love this one. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe just had a little too much religion cheese. Mm -hmm. Maybe had. Well, he's been a... finding all the cheese wheels in the game. Just <laughs> like, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah this, this this cheese crushing dead bodies is yeah. delicious. So Adam Adam Adam's apple size yeah. as well, um, and you can do that for male and female, which is cool. Yeah. So, why not? 
So some people are wondering if there are replication codes generated from this so that you can share your character with your friends for them to use. So replication codes is something we're looking at. It may be post-launch. Um, it's still an investigation right now. Our hope is to try and integrate it with the Keep somehow, so it's fairly easy to do. But um, we don't have specific plans in place right now. But that's the, uh, yeah, we, we're aware it's a very popular feature. Um, at this point, it's getting it, getting it to the right you know, venue for sharing them. Um, because there are obviously a ton of different sliders and data and stuff. Yeah. So that's what we're looking at right now. But yeah, we're we're aware that one's definitely on the hit list. It may be something we we add in post release even. Yeah. You gonna make Scar Scar up? Why not? Scar. So, yeah. yeah. So we, so we're moving the Scar across the face now. We can do it in a horizontal as well as a vertical position. Yeah. We'll take it up. Take it up. Oh oh. Yeah. Oh, man, he's lucky that bear didn't get his eye. Tattoos. We love tattoos. Now we've got to change the color. So, got full control over the color of the tattoos. Whatever you want to do there. Okay, I can't. I think it dark you, don't, you don't have any tattoos. No, I know. I'm, I'm getting it. Oh, I see. I see. You want to start at blue? Yeah. You don't want to be sullied by black. Exactly. So, yeah. so there's some sort of tattoo. So, the designs themselves come in different patterns and then as well, different intensities. So, you, That's can, right. you can pull it down as if you want it to look a little faded, yeah. bring it in nice and bright. Um, and as you circle through them, as well, the, the tattoos differ by race. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah the dwarf ones are really yeah. like full on on your face. Yeah, well, yeah, and you, you want that that the brand. If you want to say, oh no, he was castless or something like that, you you yeah. can you know use the tattoos to kind of tell a little bit of your story. Yeah. I don't like this one back here. There we go. Okay, uh, makeup. So eyeshadow color. Uh, now. I'm really not good with makeup. <laughs> it's I, not, not your forte. It's yeah. not my forte. Yeah. I, I did a video uh, that we shot at Edmonton Comic Con uh, yesterday, actually, and uh, I am horrendous at this. Oh, was that like the lime green David Bowie looking elf? I didn't even yeah, need to make was, I, yeah. I was just yeah, messing yeah. around. Oh, here we go. Case in point. So never, ever trust me with your makeup, Mark. <laughs> I, I know that this is something that you... Uh, I got to change my afternoon plans. You, was, you really do? Yeah. You know that meeting I booked? Yeah, it's canceled. Okay. Yeah. Um, so actually, one of our uh, one of our producers who's worked with the art team for, mm. for the entirety of the project, actually, Colleen, um, has gone through and basically done a lot of the NPC heads. She's customized them herself. Yeah. And it's been fun watching her deafness with the makeup system improve. Yeah. We've had a couple characters where... They're very prominent, so you see them change as she checks in new versions, and she'll keep tweaking them. Yeah. And the makeup has gotten more and more subtle and a lot more natural. As she's That's like, cool. oh, wait, yeah. I figured out how to do this particular type of eyeliner mixed with blush. mixed yeah. with, And it's it's really cool, because the, and the system's been evolving over time, too. Oh, you are. Oh, I'm so bad. Wow. Yeah. So I put a bit of blush on this guy. But it's cool, because the blush could be, you know, yeah. black, you know, all these different colors, you know, which is really neat. People are wondering if there's full body tattoos and if you can add uh, beauty marks or moles. Or uh, so full body tattoos, no, because the uh, the majority of the time you're in armor. So we didn't. We decided to really focus on making the face the highly customizable part. Um, in terms of beauty marks, the scar system. I don't. I don't think it actually has any beauty marks in it. I don't. We I have seen to it. check. I don't think we do have those. Yeah. Um, that that is a good suggestion. It probably. Yeah. yeah. Something, something we should look at. I love how you can change the, even the lip shine. How glossy it is? Yeah. 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 This is the mid-Vaseline application. <laughs> what? Oh, this is this may not be showing our art in the best light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, here's right. the best part. You can back out and reset and lose all those changes so that your poor guy doesn't look yes. like he went headfirst into a cosmetics Exactly. Factory. Well, how about we do that? How about we go back to the main menu? <laughs> we did um, say we And then we can do another, yeah. another character. Okay. All right, so what race do you guys want us to do next? So uh, we just did a human, so pick between an elf, dwarf, and a canary. Yeah. And we'll, we'll probably do a female, I think. So we've heard a lot for canary, especially canary. the horns. All right. Horns, all right. Mind if I do this one? Sure. Mix it up? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. It's a fun little thing. The uh, race you get, or the gender you get, at the start of the game is randomized. Yes. So yes. it's like just I don't know. You're going to get a set of cards. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the bumpers to switch them. Uh, let's see. It doesn't matter for Kerrigan. We'll go Canary Mage. Yeah, I like Mage. There we go. Ooh, Atalva Shaw. Um, and then again to talk about it. So when you're playing here right now, we're not logged in to no. the Origin servers. No. We don't have our account set up. So we're getting only the option of the default world state. 
Um, how it works if you are signed in on the Dragon Age Keep and you've used it, the beta people are probably familiar, is you can promote one world state to basically be your primary. Yes. And to say, this is the one I want exported. How that works, just so we're, we're clear on it while we're doing CareGen, is that uh, at this moment, it will connect to the keep, it will grab that world state, and essentially embed all that data into your save game. Yep. Uh, you can do that multiple times, you can start multiple games, and then you can go and change it and start another game That's uh, right. and, and get an updated version for that. So the, the nice thing is, because it's kind of a one event thing, you don't need to be online the whole time, can mm -hmm. connect to the keep, and so on. That said, when you set up to your world state, it will be able to push data back. Yeah, and well. when we talk about world states, you know, for those of you who don't know, that's basically at save game information. Um, like who's, so, who's king of Ferelden? Exactly, or that's right. Yeah. So if you played Origins or you played Dia 2 or right. both, um, you, know, you can go back in there and you can set up this world state, which is basically you defining all those decisions and actions that you've taken in the previous games. Yeah. Uh, and then that's what you bring in. So. Yeah, and the Keep's a free web-based system. Yep. In fact, if you look at the archives here on the Bioware channel, you can see uh, Fernando and Leah and yep. Co going through that in detail, so you can sort of see how it works. Yep. It's kind of a living tapestry of history. That's right, and it'll be live before the game ships, so yep. you have plenty of time to get in there and, and mess around with it. Get it set up and everything, right? Yeah, I've got to do that myself, actually. I got mine set up. Now, after Dude. your character is uh, set, are you able to revisit the character generator later in the game? Uh, not currently. Not currently. That's something, again, we're face looking melter. at potentially later. Yeah, we jokingly call that the face melter. Yeah, um, yeah it's, uh, it's, it's something that may happen post-release. We may patch it in or something like that. But yeah. for right now, uh, the nice thing is we're trying very hard. Uh, we got our lighting guys to make sure that this is a close approximation to kind of a neutral lighting state for the game. Yes. Because um, that's something we've gotten a lot of feedback on is, oh, wow, I look totally different different here than what Yeah, I and I've, I've had that problems yeah. in all sorts of games. We definitely don't want to do Yeah, that. and one of the nice advantages of the opening of the game, which we're not going to spoil today, no. is that um, you do have uh, a variety of lighting conditions right off the bat, so if yeah. you don't like it, it's very easy to restart. Yeah. Um, not ideal, I'd rather do a face melter, but we'll, we'll look at that we'll as a it. potential future option. Yeah. Oh, there you go, with the hawk. Yeah. Now, this one's horns. always a popular question. Can I have a canary without horns? Yes. Sten style? Absolutely, you yes. can. And you we'll can have hornless and stub, stub, like little stubs yep. as well, and, and full horns. So let's, let's, let's jump in. Let's look. do that, because everybody wants to know about the hair. So we'll start here. Now, this slider says horns, but it's actually a combination yeah. of horns and hair. Most of these styles are available with the different horn patterns. Uh, here you have sort of a I sawed it off kind of Talvashoff look. Yeah, um, I love here's that one, one with all the kind of sort of yeah, it's patterns been on the inlaid, middle, yeah. and then uh, apparently the tips have been broken off. Um, again, kind of a nice layered look. Some studying, I guess, if you want to win at a headbutting competition. Well, yeah. forward curls. There was still remember that guy down at PAX uh, a couple of years ago. Someone was like. Did the canary have like a headbutt special ability? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that should be great. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can make a warrior in charge. That that's sure true. Feels, yeah. That sure feels pretty. Ah, yeah. here we go. Now we're into the yeah. asymmetrical breaks. That's yeah. the. Uh, that's really cool. I fell off the back of a hay wagon. Yeah. Here's the I fell off the back of the hay wagon the other way with a new hairstyle. Backwards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, she had to pull herself out of that. Yeah. Uh, and this is more into the spaces, the Sarah Boss or, or the, uh, some of the Telvashoth Raiders in DA2 yeah. where they, they quite deliberately sawn off their, their horns. Yeah. And then we get into the hornless variations as well. So you have a variety of different shapes and styles yeah. and metals. Cool. Um, so I know that one was a pretty popular ask. I've actually, on Twitter last night, I was seeing a lot of people asking about the skin tone of the Canary. Sure, okay. So let's, well, then let's take on that. So the Canary, uh, they definitely a very different skin tone set yep. than we have. Um, you run to a very fairly pale kind of gray very there. Gray, yeah. Yeah. Uh, pull through the different grays. And, and then you head more well. into the bronzy territory, yeah. closer to what Sten's color was with yeah. that slight green tinge. A um, little bit more pink, and then all the way down into kind of this dark bronze, mm. and then... Uh, right there for almost this like jet black look, yeah. which can be really striking. If yeah, you, give them red eyes. Yeah, you go into like you know the more traditional canary like kind of white hair yeah. or blondes. Like a uh, yeah, a lot of people are yeah kind of a lot of people are very curious about hair color. Um, we bandied about whether we'd restrict to white or something like that. And we decided no, it, it needs some variations, but obviously not the full range that the humans have. Yeah, or the elves. Do you want to do female voice? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so our two voice actors, uh, you've probably seen. Uh, Con will get spit on various times by one of them. So good. <laughs> uh, so that, uh, uh, but of course, for the American voice, which would be the one you heard first, uh, Sumali Montano mm -hmm. is uh, Somali. Sorry, I said it slightly wrong there. Um, is voicing. So again, your two choices, able to switch between some nice sample lines, get a sense of the lip sync in motion as well. Yeah. 
All right, we'll come out of here. Um, no, now, beyond that, just uh, the body type at all. We have a number of questions about that. Oh, body type. So people keep asking about body mm -hmm. type, and and um, yeah, totally fair question. Uh, we had to make a choice between um, kind of racial variation on the body types or slider variation of the body types in yeah. terms of, of how we decided to build it. Um, the takeaway for us was that having all the races and the genders be different yes. heights and different sizes yeah. uh, was more valuable than having like a slider based kind That's of body right. shape. And that, I mean, obviously yeah. we've got a lot of um, a lot of data in the character creator, so we let us double down. Absolutely, yeah. So so a female canary, for instance, just yeah. towers over even a human male. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are few conversations quite as uh, stark as a female dwarf talking to a male canary, because yes. that's just that their necks are all yeah. <laughs> craned. Um, yes. And of course that was pretty challenging because we had to build uh, specific um, systems to make them properly meet up and to head look yeah. over the course of all the dialogues. Um, so makeups share the same um, basic shape and style over the course of the two, but as noted, we also have the, oh, there's scars. Thickness, chin shape. So again, um, female characters, as Cam noted, do have Adam's apples as available. Um, and as we go through the Canari, a lot of people tend to forget they do have pointed ears as well. Mm. So we can have them. Nice thing, of course, is that with the more outwardly um, focused ears, ears like on back, elves yeah. and stuff, you can put that level of bend yeah. onto them and get that kind of thing. Elves, of course, are a little bit larger. Yeah. Um, so you can really see that stand out on the character. Um, now, one question that would pop up here is, where's tattoos for Canari? Right? Obviously, that's that's the biggie. Well, I've had those. well, Canari are a little bit different from every other race. They're, they kind of got their own set of equipment when it comes to headgear. Mm. Um, so rather than, than giving you like kind of these permanent tattoos for them, instead, yep. they wear something called Vitar. Vitar is essentially this highly toxic to anybody but Canari material. And it's applied like a war paint almost. Yep. Um, you can hide it with hide helmet if you if you don't want to see it, but it looks really rad. You get different yep. combinations and patterns, and they all have different effects. So are you saying that that pattern will change when on the headgear? Absolutely. So you equip yep. it just like it's a helmet. So yep. instead of helmets, all Canari wear Vitar, and everyone else gets their range of helmets. That's so it gives cool. Canari kind of something kind of special. We wanted to do that because, yeah. well, they're new. They're cool. Yeah, they're exciting. Cool. Um, so I yeah, people want to see some scars on that. Yeah, absolutely, we can do that. And they also want to know if the horns, if you can make them bigger or smaller. Uh, horn size is not no. uh, slider based, but yeah. it is as you change the horn patterns. Yes, uh, they move across. All right, so let's go one of the more intense scar patterns here. That one. Yep. And then we then can do the intensity. So that will dull it down. Yeah, you dull it down. Yep. Pull it back up, and then of course. Motion comes around if you want to get to the edge of the lip, look like she has survived the battle axe to the side of the face. So, in the throat of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pull it so down. close to the jugular. Yeah, pull her up here as yeah. well, up into the eye territory. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And of course, you can see the light response coming off of that scar is absolutely different from mm -hmm. the regular skin. Yep. Um, Are we able to see different types of lighting in the character creator so we can see what Cameron's glam makeup looks like? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we've actually, so the lighting in here is a custom stage lighting that we built. Um, we don't have it, we don't have it cycling through different ones, but what we did is built this one to be essentially the same lighting that is used for most um, cinematics. cinematics. Yeah. Because most unlike sessions. our previous games where the lighting was entirely the level, mm. uh, we've actually done a pass through all the major cinematics in the game and yeah. done a cinematic lighting pass. So it's the equivalent of like the gaffer coming in and lining stuff up, uh, getting you know the right color. So this yeah. is a close approximation. Obviously, there's going to be some difference because you won't have a green background. That's so right. On. Yeah. Um, but other than that, this is about as close as you'll get. Yep. Yeah. Take one more look at horns. Oh, yeah, and you want to do some red eyes right on there? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, there's some nice brilliant blue. I see. There you go. Yeah, so they're just the default ones. Yeah, huge range yeah. on there. Let's and jump down on those. Yeah. Go. Let's make them a little bigger. Yeah, there we go. So we can see them. Um, I love how you can there. rotate the eyes, you know, change the style. Yeah. There's yeah. unibrow eyebrows. I love those. There you go. So there's there's a nice kind of uh, good example of the different colors in between. Yeah. Uh, the inner iris, of course, will change. We can go into yeah, I love white, when you do a white. Or so it's like a, a red around the outside and a yeah. white in the middle. If we get more into like a Sten territory where you have kind of this rich violet with a little bit of red on the outside, that starts mm -hmm. to look a little more into that territory. So again, all characters can have this. It you know maybe a little fantastical for humans, but hey, it's your character. Yeah. Maybe you were hit by a random spell. It is. It's a it's a chaotic time. It is. Absolutely. 
Are there okay. any uh, post-game character customization unlocks? Uh, as in, do we unlock in more stuff? Game, when we beat the game? Get more stuff? No, we want to give you everything right up front. Um, obviously, when you beat the game, you can come back and try a different race, but yep. it's it's all available right from the from the get go. Seemed kind of a kind of a kind of a strange place to, well, to yeah, lock exactly. it right. Do you know how many options there are? So uh, I think it was something like I need to double check. Uh, Aaron's probably going to slap me, but I think it was sixty two variables. And then in terms of like what each of these categories are here, um, but then in terms of combinations, like it's, it's billions. Like I mean, even just in colors. Yeah, there's so, there's a like well yeah this this spectrum right I mean, here what is, is enormous. What is that? Like how many is that? And yeah. then you know with the multi point on the on each of the, the sort of the cheekbones and the eyes and the ears and stuff like that. Yeah. And hey, while we're at it, eyelash style. We yeah. didn't show this earlier. No, I didn't show that one. You yeah. want you want big thick fan full a little you know maybe it's maybe it's Maybelline maybe she's born with it. Um, these are all about why? What? I grew up in the 80s. I'm allowed okay. to say things like that. Get off my lawn, Cameron. Yes. Does there we go. the character creator affect your uh, in-game uh, uh, picture for your character? Uh, no, the the picture is the iconized uh, mark on the hand. That's right. Yeah. 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 The portrait is is determined by that, basically because we've gone with a stylized look. Mm. Yeah. I know. I know. Some people are going to be like, but the derp face portraits. Those are very popular in Origins. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I mean, the fellow was kind of hectic. Some, some of them are a little bit dirty. Yeah, but <laughs> because we're using the icons to indicate when a character is wounded That's right. yeah. in a particular shape, we yeah. decided to use the Inquisitor as a more kind of generic style, yeah. so that yeah. when that hand goes red, even if you're not controlling your Inquisitor directly, you immediately get at a glance, kind of, oh, geez, the Inquisitor is in yeah. rough shape, yeah. and so on. Okay. All right, shall we go to some gameplay? Yeah, let's uh, right. jump in. So that was definitely impressive. You guys are into the statics and modifying your character and creating your character, this game looks extremely promising in that regard. I've got some brand new gameplay coming up right here on Open World Games. By the time this video is out, it's probably going to be ready to go. Uh, it's going to show off the open world of Dragon Age Inquisition, so a lot of you are wondering, is this really open world? How open world is it? They're going to go into some details about that that you can look forward to, but I'm going to show you some gameplay clips here. It's a very long demonstration, so that's a bonus. So look forward to it and thank you guys so much for the 100,000 subscribers right here on YouTube. My mind is blown right now. Uh, Ryan and I will definitely be doing a celebration video that you guys can look forward to shortly on Open World Games. I'm hoping to get it out within a week or so because it's extremely busy over here. So thank you guys once again and I will see you guys next time. Subscribe right here on Open World Games for Dragon Age Inquisition and all things Open World Gaming goodness.